Okay, so a quick tip for InDesign CS5 and how to indent or line up some text. I'm using the Windows version, but the same tip also applies to the Mac version with a slight change in the keyboard shortcut. Now, there are several ways of doing this. The most common way I've seen is, is people tend to create a tab. So I'm just going to put one in there. And they'll tab across each line to get it to line up. And it's pretty time consuming. And if you uh, add a word or anything, then it all goes wrong and it's just a nightmare. Um, so if I just undo what I've just done, I'm going to keep that tab in there now just to show one way. So I'll tab across that first line there. I'm going to hold down the control key or on the Mac you'd hold down uh, the Apple command key. With that held down, push the backslash key and that's the slash that leans slightly to the left. So if I do that, it all aligns to that point where the uh, where the cursor was. So it saves you quite a lot of time and if you add a word it doesn't mess up anything so that's really pretty useful. Um, another method is you don't actually you don't actually, oops, don't actually need to use a tab at all so if I take that tab out you can actually just use spaces which I wouldn't normally recommend for a lot for, for moving any text uh, across anywhere you usually use the tab to set it accurately but in this case um, again I'm going to hold down control and push the backslash key it lines up with that exact point so it doesn't actually matter if you've just used spaces um, if you space beyond that point you can see it's not aligning because that little marker that's, in, uh, that's uh, inserted there yeah, is the indent marker and uh, if I were to move that then it moves along with it so it's pretty pretty simple to use but this works on a, on a paragraph basis so let's say you had another paragraph just after that one I'm using spaces again, control and backslash, it's just going to align that paragraph there. Um, and, and another useful way of doing this is also, let's say you've got a list of bullet points, and uh, let's say you had, I don't know, 200 bullet points, and the text sort of flowed across several pages, you can just, I'll use spaces again, control, backslash, and they all align. Um, you might notice there that I've used soft returns there after each line, that's because this uh, indent tool only works with the paragraph. A, a soft return is to hold down shift and push return. If I had uh, hard returns in there, so let's just undo what I've done. So <coughs> I'm just pushing the normal return key after each line there. So if I try the same thing again, it's not going to work because that, that indentation is only going to apply to that paragraph. And as I'll put a, a hard return in there, or a return in, not hard return, a return in there, then that's... Uh, that's the end of that paragraph, so it's not going to work. So you have, if if you're writing your bullet points or pasting, that's the one thing you're going to have to remember to do. Um, if you already had the list of bullet points and they already had a hard return, what you could do is uh, highlight that hard return. Uh, by the way, to display all these hidden characters, make sure you go to the type menu and down there it will say show hidden characters. Obviously, you switch that on and these appear. You need these um, highlighted to to do what I'm about to show you. So if you uh, highlight that, I'll just use shift and the right cursor key. If you highlight that hard return symbol, copy it, that's control and C, uh, control and F to find uh, something in the document, and then control and V to paste, that's the uh, shortcut for that symbol. And now I'm going to go back into the document, I'm going to highlight the soft return, copy that, and uh, paste that there again it's sort of that's its code for that um, in this case I'm just going to use a selection so I'm going to highlight that I'm going to say find hard returns replace them with soft returns so change all and it's done it now if you had hundreds of them obviously it, it would do that for you so again space along control backslash and it's aligned them so that's quite a good time saver the only drawback to that is um, if you had uh, hard returns Oops. If you had hard returns, the advantage of um, those is you can set the, the space after each paragraph by using the, the palette there. And uh, if these are all soft returns, I'm just going to do it manually because it doesn't take that long for these few. If you had soft returns, obviously it's, it's not going to work because this, this uh, function here does the space after the paragraph. So you're going to have to you have to trick it there and it's not the best way of doing it but you're just going to have to adjust the the line spacing up here so put it to I'm just going to use up and down the keyboard there to 
track those out so that's another way of doing it there are other ways of doing it you can also use the uh, the alignment the left align uh, tool there to move the paragraph along but I find if I'm doing a job and it's on a tight deadline and I've got to do things quick I find this uh, indent shortcut works really well so I hope that's uh, been of use to anyone thanks very much